Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to episode 2 of my Drazoth the Ashen Let's Play Warhammer Total War campaign. So we left off last time, we have just secured our home province of the Noblar country. I feel like I uh, might have been invaded here to begin with. But so we have taken that county now. The orcs that were in charge of it have done a quick runner up here. Past Karak Krakaton, which I'm honestly going to guess has some Skaven hiding in it. Although I say that, there is... There is no Skaven corruption, so maybe it doesn't. Maybe it is in fact abandoned, and these guys are in fact about to go and get a free settlement. If that is, then I will be chasing them up very, very shortly. When I do so, I may possibly, basically, Grimtop has two, and Amble Peak has one. All ogres coming up here. There's where is Amble Peak? The settlement is yet to be discovered. And if I just zoom out. Ivory Road, Ivory Road, possibly up here, kind of guessing where the Ivory Road goes. But yeah, so I will probably go up there and finish taking them. But what I'm probably going to do next is potentially pop over here. And oh, that's, that's, uh, that's a hell of an army. That's a hell of an army. I kind of want to come over here and take out the Caravan of the Blue Rose. Just because, uh, as far as I can tell, this is the edge of the map, hence all of this lovely bog and so leaving them there really doesn't secure my flank and what is this on a hill oh nice little tower so yeah leaving them there leaves my flank quite badly open so i do kind of want to go and take them out whilst i can but we shall see we shall see we've got an end turn to basically play through yep drosophy ashen he has some skill points to put in let's have a look shall we now, he's okay for health. We've got one in Ashstorm. Dark subjugation allows us to... Magic magic cost minus one. Magic magic cost minus one for... This cast base minus 50%. Ashstorm. Curse of it left. Curse of Hushut. I could get to start taking down... Uh, hero units. Or Dark Subjugation, like I said, I've got Killing Fire. Passive ability, Killing Fire. Triggers when casting a spell. Affects enemies within range all. Enable to casting. Effective range 55 meters. I'm actually not quite sure how far that is on a map. Um, have we got a range on this that can give me an idea? Oh, that's huge range. So more like maybe more Astral? No. Uh, we shall maybe find out. But I've got one skill point. And I think at this point... I mean, Curse of a Shirt is good for single combatants. Range 200 meters, damage per second for 10 seconds, so about 670 damage. As an example, this guy has about 6,000 health, so it'll do a bit. Don't get me wrong, it'll do a bit of melting. If you have to lock in ev evasion, spending four skill points in previous group. Uh, so we will go and put a point in. We'll get the push if I should. I will eventually, once I think I've gotten his, his spells, I will pop back down here and potentially get Tyrant. And then we have Luktaz the Bronze. And... So strength plus 5, leadership plus 4. Uh, yeah, he doesn't really buff my army. He's He is one and the only. He is going to give me increased mobility, which is quite nice. But he doesn't actually buff my units at all. But we shall go for... Blade Master, piercing missile strength plus five because he is trench resentful. Armor plus ten. Any hero actions six chance. Okay, the armor plus ten is nice. Uh, yep, because he is basically a, he's fantastic at sniping. Quite frankly, thirty-three in terms of replenished four, and the then we are star. going to go and throw in. What are we doing? We've got 1,600 in the positive, so we can easily afford a few units. We got two archers and a cut folks last time. I'm going to get a pair of sneaky gits, so I've got a bit of vanguard deployment, and we'll get another cut throats. On that, we are getting rid of that building. Yep, I need to upgrade, which will cost me 1,500 gold, and of course a level 2. Be able to do that, and we can go ahead and get that level two. So let's chuck that in. 
And I think that'll pretty much be us. Ah, yes, I can control plus two, attach place value minus 0.5. Income from refinery buildings, armor plus plus 10. Recruitment cost minus 20%, army recruitment rank plus two. Rush construction, labor cost, construction costs minus 10% for all buildings. Do I hold off my buildings for a turn? And then put them in afterwards. Uh, no, uh, yeah, no, no, I don't think so. We can't rush any construction. We've only been fighting ogres, and they don't give very many captives because there's not a lot of them on the field. They're all big and ugly ogres, as opposed to I don't know, thousands of tiny skaven. And numbers do count, so we will throw in. I think I'm going to throw a military doctrine. Until I've finished recruiting in my army, because we've still got one, two, three, four, five slots left to put units into. And then we will... Then we will change it to construction, because I don't think I'm going to get to rush this too soon. So I don't think we're going to have too much more construction to go in, particularly. So let's end that turn there. What's this? Objectives. Yep. Plenty of objectives. So as per always, folks, I hope you are enjoying the stream. He's just coming back to die, quite frankly. Although, is he... Is he going to... He's not raiding, is he? No, he's at war and he's just suffering attrition. He is, yeah. He's just running down to die, basically. No matter where he runs. I mean, Flayed Rock is my weakest. Being an outpost, but even that has... Uh, some infantry and a couple of archers. I'm really not worried about these guys, to be honest. Um, although... Movement has been disabled for this character. Wait, what? Mino Dorthar. Wait, 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 I'm confused. Nick, nah. Movement notifications character will always display regardless of your global notification. Help pages. Uh, what, 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 what did I do? Why can't I take him out of his garrison? Oh, probably because I have to go through these first. Completed trade with a military convoy. Rewards more cargo. Maximum cargo. Convoy cargo capacity plus 10% for 10 turns and 75 armaments. Technology research. There you go. Because I was rushing it. I was not paying attention what was on the side of my screen. Upkeep minus 10% for laborers and hobgoblin and infantry units. That will help, especially with what we just put in. Melee attack plus 4 for laborers and hobgoblin and infantry units. So that happened. Arno. So, yeah, he's in forced march. He's not going to be able to Name. run away. Quarno. Let's just go and finish them up. And we are. We are basically going to jump in, attempt to not take pretty much any casualties. And, of course, kill everybody so we get as many captives as possible. Now, there's not too many on offer. I mean, there's a whole 170 units there. But every one counts. I would like 170 more laborers, not just 10. So we shall take out as many as we can. I'm basically going to... I'm going to stick myself on some form of a hill. Let them run at my blunderbuss and fire glaives. Throw a couple of spells at them, stick my Infernal Castellian to shoot them at the same time, because he has a fantastic range. And, yep, let's get up on the hill. So... Uh, basically, you guys there. I want you by there. You by there. You guys can just stand behind. Uh, 
Basically, send those up around there, maybe, and try and stop them from all retreating. What we have to do? Oh, of course, yes, my archers can sit behind and up the hill. I haven't forgotten anybody. Nope, that's just a small campfire. Uh, okay, we will attempt to channel magic. Why not? We're on 14. We're now on total power. You have channeled the winds of magic. Oh, we went up to 16. Let's start deployment, which I've already gone and done. I like jumping the gun on that one. Uh, okay, I can't see their hidden units. I can, however, bombard them. Assume the hidden units are maybe... Yep, that'll get their attention. Let's see if I can find some hidden new units, shall we? What is... Well, there you go. His range is all the way there, but my range is basically the edge of these rocks. Is he still coming? Yeah, they're still coming. Let's just let those Winds of Magic build up. They're tired. Of course they're tired, because they were in forced march. He's now going to start firing. He does, honestly, I think he does fantastic damage. Just a. Uh... <laughs> See that? It just bounced straight off his peck. Like how you can just hear them marching. Oh! He went down. And so did he, actually. Oh, that's him you can hear marching with his little uh, one step going on. That's my range again. They are about to come into range. Where are those hidden units? Lord just got melted. There's the hidden units. And let's get you guys. Get yourselves back up and around here. Let's get you guys to pile in. him. And out of the way. Oh, they all got melted. And I get an Ashstone, please. What do I need? Ten. Uh, probably not at this point, no. Ah, oh, he's still walking. 92 health. I'll go on, melt him. Fantastic. Come on, give me an Ashstone. Just turn you around because you're probably not a good idea to fire into this mess anymore. And let's just fast forward, finish it off. One, gone. End battle. Could get me quite a bit of. Oh, I lost five men. Oh, yeah, they came in and slapped five, probably of my. 
I guess my blunderbuss. Nine kills. Twenty-one kills. You sort of mean like he's he's got a good shot on him. Enemy captured 143, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, it's not much, but we'll take the extra labor. Mission issued. Complete a Manufactory Forge Craft Upgrade in the Hell Forge. A Manufactory Forge Craft Upgrade in the Hell Forge. Okay, we have the Hell Forge. Victory over Ogres. Solution plus three when fighting against Ogre Kingdom's Lord's Army. Dresoth. The Ashen. Dresoth the Ashen, even. Enemy killed in battle. Very nice. So these guys will keep healing. I suppose I can go into. No, I can go into an ambush stance. That's about it. Let's. Where's the line of my territory? I assume it's here. I don't know. It's hard to see. Yeah. No, I assume. Well, that's. Yeah, that's my line, I think. Strolling. Take you back on the road. Stay there. You've got a level. Piercing shots again. Missile strength plus 10%. Victory. And then... We didn't... No, I haven't gained anything, have I? No. Anyway, convoys are available. We'll look at that very shortly. And, of course, we are going to... Oh, what am I thinking? I'm thinking another... Archer and a hobgoblin cut throat because of that, I think. What events? Dangerous cargo and just in full. does backstabber. Oh, back, backstabber. I can't say his name, folks. I don't know why. Thor does backstabber. I don't know. It's just it, it's it's beyond me. I can't I just can't do it. So that should trigger Gordas, who I will run up to join this army as well. Uh, who have we got here? Oh, look! Skaven coming out of a completely abandoned city. <gasps> um, so we shall... I could start pushing up, but like I said, I kind of want to come and take care of these guys. But I don't have any infantry, uh, any infantry, any artillery or anything. So that could be quite hard. We shall... What did we just go and done? Oh, yeah. Labor quotas, I think. Nope. We gained military. Stronghold syndrome. Call to war gives leadership. Melee defense. I'm not too worried about, to be honest. Hollow rounds. Missile strength. Ooh. Reload time reduction is rather big as well. That does mean going through there. Starved wolves. Wolf riders. Hold on. Quartermaster. Not too worried about that at this point. Tallest tower will give me control plus one, which isn't bad. Potential for going through that. Whoops, sorry. Industry. Income from trade tariffs. Tradable resource produced plus 10%. Let's chuck that in. And then... Construction cost minus 15% for port construction time. Minus one for port. That's actually not bad. I have actually got a port now. And I'm sure I will get a couple more. Plus 100 for convoy overseers. Lord, that I'm gonna, then going to chuck in afterwards because that plus three rank for convoy overseers is actually quite nice. So the hell for I can uh, my quotas, but I'm not going to at this point. Military convoys. I am going to go to. I have to create a convoy first. We have cannonary experts. Oh, I quite like the look of that army. Connected. Oh, that's very solid as well. But no, I think I'm going to go for this one and get that Hell Cannon. He also gives plus 10 ammunition for artillery, plus 10% range for artillery. Has additional war machine units. That would be one. But he does have the Infernal, Infernal Guard. We have got a lovely set of missile resistance, physical resistance... Now we'll go for the cannon. Iron Ad Master. The full 1000. That's a bit of cheap and cheerful. That's a bit of cheap and cheerful. Um, armaments. Oh, that's. No, that's armaments. Armaments for Libba. Uh, I think we're just going to start with Castle Drakenhof. 
want to get a thousand gold for four four five labor and I guess I think we'll do that for now maybe after a little while we'll start going a little bit further afield but for now that will do he yeah he doesn't have any skill points dispatch and we'll become accessible once I have 75 conclave which will happen in three more turns unless what have I got I've got 300 to spare you've got 400 left uh, you know, I choose to rush you if any of them so I sh fair chance I'll be able to get you afterwards although I might actually it costs 200 it'll put me down to what's that 579 but I will start getting my control back up Yeah, I'm going to do that. I don't want my control to drop too much. You are where you are. You are recruiting. I think that'll be on an end that turn. Change the stance in camp. Okay. Legion of Treasury. I have enough. Add some man-eaters. Yep, let's do that. Got plenty of gold. Faction destroyed the crossed clubs. Oh, I wonder who took them out. I wonder if it was Gold Tooth. Gold does. Backstabber. Got it. Got it. Labor plus 500. Oh, I can rush some construction. And oh, nice. He's right next to him. Awesome. So you. Punish those troops. Absolutely fantastic. So, ah, oh, look at that. Leadership plus six, physical resistance plus 10% for Hobgoblin. Immune to psychology for Hobgoblin and Hobgoblin Wolf Rider units. When normally killed in action, he, he's immortal, he'll be wounded instead. Casualty replenishment plus 10% for Hobgoblin units own army. Casualty and divided corruption. Global recruitment duration minus one turns for Hobgoblin and Hobgoblin Wolf Rider units. Faction wide. That is fantastic. So. Let's start getting him upgraded. What happened to... Yep, Goldtooth took him out by the looks of it. So that was him. Now do I push... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna... Let's put you into... Oh, how far can you get on Underway? Or Smarts gets you there. Underway... It doesn't get you anywhere. Force march you over here. Oh, of course he's got an army. Oh, he's got an army outside, though. I can attack the uh, me outside. Probably not. Whoa, he has a lot of corpse, corpse cards. Zombies are fine. Skeleton warriors. Crit ghoul, crit ghoul. Where? There'll be a hero in here somewhere. Helm and Ghost. Um, I wish I hadn't gone into forced march now. I wish I could go into ambush mode. And then declare war. We shall maybe go to ambush mode next turn, declare war, and see if we can't get him in an ambush. Hopefully he doesn't just come and attack us this turn, because if he does, it's going to hurt. We want... What do we want? Armaments, when you have 150. No, not income. Gunsmith. Yep, that's what we want. That's also one of our... Trade with a military convoy, arcane anvils. Construct a building from the. There you go. Construct. We get 75 more armaments after we do that. What was this one again? Complete a manufactory forge craft upgrade in the Hellforge. Manufactory forge craft upgrade. All right. I have to put one of those on at some point. And I will get uh, quite a lot, actually. 2,000 treasury and 75 more armaments. Nice. And so I guess we'll end that turn. Oh, we still got a lot of labor. Oh, let's rush these through. And that will allow us... That's going to cost me 1,500. That will only cost us some gold. Or I should probably... Can't check in the landmark. I... 
It's hot looking at getting dwarfs already. Can't get any of this because it costs too much armament. Control. Bit of extra gold generated. We could actually do maybe with a bit more gold. Or some defenses. These cost raw materials as well. I'm going to be running short of raw materials once I put that in. It cost me 150. I'm only making 300 at this point. I really need to upgrade this as well. Cost me an extra 200. That puts me down to 5. In fact, let's not do that. We might not be. Much labor minus 10%. And minus 1 on construction times. So, on that I will... Yeah, let's get, be able to get some wolf rider goblins and a little bit more money, I think. Let's end that turn. Does anyone want to give any quick deals? Quick deals. No. Nope. <laughs> I think I'm about to go to war with you any second now, so let's not do that. Okay, let's end the turn there, ladies and gentlemen, and let's see what comes next. Oh, and where do you think you're going? Technology researched, income trade, trade resource produced plus 10, fantastic. Let's go in and have a look at that. Veteran Convoy Master. We'll throw that in, I think. And then I think we'll come back for talk stuff. Darkness comes. He is channeling on the edge of my territory. How dare he? So this is a rather bring me flesh to craft. You can declare war without having to suffer treachery penalties for breaking non-aggression packs and trade agreements. Well, I don't have any of those anyway. Is is what aiming is to go this? against this army absolutely stupid? Um, possibly. But it's going to have to happen. Let us... Let us declare war. Dum, 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 dum. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you go. Can I assist you? No relationships. Leave me. I have better trade, military tax, defensive. Break, break, desires. break. Payments. Declare war. Declare war. Kualuma, Legionaras. Ah, I cannot attack in its current stance. That's what I was doing wrong. He will probably run. Obviously, if I attack him there. 70%. Can that increase at all? Nope. This was Okay, so 70% chance. Let's see if I can get them to come back out and grab them in an ambush. Other than that, there's not a lot going on at the moment, I'm afraid. We heard I'm not gonna rush any construction because obviously this might take a little bit of a turn, and I believe you don't get very many labor from the undead because they just corrupt crumble corrupt <laughs> they just crumble so i believe you don't get too much labor from them so i'm not going to push anything too much although 90 yeah, all right we'll push that <laughs> i lied a little we definitely want to upgrade that it does increase our workload by 100 but it also gets us 100 more raw materials that takes level three but i got one of those generates me a bit of income or yeah I think I want to put that in but I just don't have the gold 
And uh, yeah, I'm not doing action. Okay, so let's end that turn there. I need them to come and attack me. Come on. I disappeared. I'm no longer here. Oh, so I guess he discovered me then. Um, I will find my own path. Construct a build from the assembly line. Reward 75 armaments. Very nice. As I said, I guess then... Black Tower should become the new center of influence. Claim a seat in the Tower of Tsar. Ambush foiled. Yep. <laughs> Got that. Mission issued. Have 400 armament. I can do that. I don't mind waiting a little bit before I spend anything. And yes, we have now seats available. In the Tower of Zar. Yep. And yep. And yep. And yep. Are we finished? How about now? Thank you. So for those of you that haven't seen this on any of the other videos that have been out on YouTube for a while, you basically spend your Conclave influence to gain a seat. Each seat gives you a certain bonus or boon. And then once you complete the little block in one of the three districts, you get the boons at the top. I'm not sure if you have to have a seat in, for instance, you have to have a seat in the Sorcery District to then get Research Rate plus 10%, or whether it just has to be complete. And then as you go up, the seats get more expensive, then you get less of them, and as you get all the way to the top, you will be able to confederate with the other three factions of the Chaos Dwarves. Now we are going to grants random favor of income from 7 gold plus 25%. Raw materials, one plus 100 per turn and plus 5%. I'm pretty sure that's what we're going for because we really need some raw materials right now. Plus 25 per turn. Maybe in battle. Armor of contempt. Armor plus 30, melee defense plus 24. Nice. No, we are going to go for the raw materials plus 100. Then we got 100 extra labor and 25 Conclave Influence back, which is quite nice, because we just spent all of our Conclave Influence. Now, you... Why, uh... I think it just means he can move. Yes, now you should run away this way, but then that should let me come and destroy you. I... He is a wizard and a spellcaster. Well, that just sucks. Um, okay, we'll jump in and fight this battle as well. And then we'll go stick ourselves back in ambush stance. And see if we can't grab another 70% chance and I failed. I'd like to think if I go back there, I won't fail twice. But we'll find out. Like I said, I don't think I can particularly take these guys as laborers. Maybe I can take the Lord as a laborer. I'll take him as a laborer in my army. Uh, I'm just going to start deployment. What? You guys, obviously all these guys are going to be here. Just come and start over here. And then we have a pretty nice hill going on here. So... Let's stick you guys there. You guys can go directly behind them. Right. You can go on this side. So you're not trying to shoot through a forest. And stick. You guys are on one flank. I assume I probably can't. Uh, yeah, that's not deployed through there. Uh, we'll just stick you guys ready to charge through there, basically. Again, attempt to get a flank on. Uh, you guys can go there. And you guys can 
Uh, I'm just going to basically charge you from the back. Group you guys together. So hey, uh, oh, and we go up front and Gordas. Gordas backstabber. Great. Sorry, losing a bit of control of my own. Uh... Hello, Gordas. How are you doing? He does look like an horrible little bugger, doesn't he? He he looks a bit like the goblin equivalent of Joker to me. Which is not a man I'd like to meet. Well, anywhere, never mind down a dark alley. So, let's start that battle. Let's mount some zombies. I missed. I overshot. That usually doesn't happen. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're now within range. He should be shooting. Uh, where are they? My blunderbuss. Okay, I'm on the range of my blunderbuss. Let's uh, give me a Ash Storm right there. Throw all these guys down. them right there. You guys are all just going to get melted, so I'm not worried about you. Oh, let's. Channeling staff. I would charge them in, but <laughs> I don't think it's really necessary. And they just got melted, ladies and gentlemen. They just got absolutely melted. Lord is dead. They are dead. They didn't actually even run away. They just melted. And let's see how many I lost. Eight. I can live with those numbers. I feel like if I'd order resolved, you know, there would have been like a rough, like a 10 damage across the crew, you know, probably quite a lot to the laborers. And I need the meat shields for when people are actually going to be a problem. Um, and yeah, that was basically to these. And those seven were basically the ones that got into my fire glaze, I imagine. Enemy captured 100. We shall take the laborers as always. And let's move back to... Where are we? Ambush. I must get a chance. 70%. Let's move you to there for now. Enemy killed in battle. Fantastic. Legendary Lord, we have some skill points. I'm not going to worry about Tyrant. Or maybe I should start putting in Tyrant. Every time I cast a Enabled if casting, not when I cast a spell. Yes, if I cast in the middle of a fight, it does extra damage. I am going to... I don't want to use Dark Subjugation. I probably should. But I think probably I'm going to up the Curse of Hushut. Pull down minus 50%. Cost goes down. Miscast base chance minus 15%. In fact, no, we will put on Killing Fire. 
Because I do cast a lot of spells in combat. Oh, wait, sorry. We have Gordo's Backstabber as well. We shall put in one more into replenish troops, and there you have it. <laughs> That's what we have. We can build stuff. We can build lots of stuff. We can basically upgrade these, which will cost us... No, I'm going to save up, which is going to take us a while, unfortunately. Uh, I could definitely do with some more outposts, which is not going to get... I'm not going to get through the Haunted Forest, as that is just going to be a tower. But when I turn around and go back up here, we are going to start throwing down some outposts. I'm not quite sure what Tusks does. Or gold. But yeah, we have gold and Tusks in there. And hopefully none of these guys down here decide to kick off. Who have we got? We've got these guys who are decreasing. Those are in increasing obviously these guys are oh, they're nicely increasing and they're nicely increasing so i i'm gonna hope i'm gonna be safe on my south south flank but we shall see so in terms of buildings i'm not gonna upgrade either of those oh i can what did i say i was going to build ah, get a bit more gold i think all armies in adjacent territories yeah that will not that i'll be taking gold particularly but no i'm not gonna upgrade that Your six chance. No, it's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. And it can't be that yet. So, yep. Yeah. Although, what's this one? Campaign line of sight. Control plus two. Um. All armies in adjacent regions. Not really going to be taken. Uh, you yeah, know, we'll take that. We'll get the gold going up. We're going to have more armies. I want to get more armies out very fast. So. Yep. Yeah, let's glance over that. Uh, let's end that turn and let's see if I can get Helmund Gorsh to come out and say hello into an ambush. That would be nice. I came out of stance ambush. He found me again. Ambush foiled. Now, do I want to go in and attack? They've just gone and recruited another lord. As you do. I'm not having very much chance with the ambush, am I? I don't no. think... I mean, they're very weak. They are generally very weak units. But he's got a full 20 stack, and of course Helmut Gorst is in here somewhere. If they bring out the garrison, that's kind of more of the same. What have we got here? Oh, direwolves shouldn't be... Too much foul bats will be fun. Meat shield. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. It's a very, very big stack. I didn't really think this through properly, did I? Um, I mean, that's a very... Well, we are going to leave the episode there, folks. And I shall have to have a think about this one. Do I really think I can take all these guys on? A glory regeneration. Yay. And the corpse carts will be very annoying. The rest of the units, I think I can mount pretty well. There is going to be a lot of them, quite frankly. But yeah, so we shall end the episode there. And when we start off next time, we might be doing something stupid. Who knows? But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, stay, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy. We'll catch you then, folks.